alcohol is pervasive in the society. So wherever you go, uh, there's alcohol. And especially where people want to uh, celebrate uh, parties, pubs, or where they want to relax um, after work, alcohol's there. It's also very available. It's not just in bars and restaurants, but now when you go to the cinema, there's alcohol. So both being associated with good times and it being available means that it's very difficult to avoid drinking. So for me and my friends, the easiest place to meet is in a pub. And when you're in there, even if you're trying to curb your habits, temptation is all around you. Well, I probably drink three pints a week. I feel like I don't drink a lot. Yeah. No, I'd say mine's more about the weekends as well, and maybe the odd, the odd uh, midweek. A recent national survey showed that 15% of people hadn't even heard of drinking guidelines. And the drinking guidelines currently state that you shouldn't drink more than two units of alcohol regularly. And about 70% of people think that they could drink more than two units of alcohol each day and not experience any significant harms. The Drink Less app is built on scientific evidence by reviewing the worldwide literature as to what works. It's also based on expert opinion from um, those who've got expertise in alcohol and addiction and also in behavioural science. We've set it up so that we can test the particular modules within it to see what is effective and therefore we can improve it in the future. The app hasn't just been informed by scientific content but also by users experience of the app. It was something that we thought was really important to look at so that people enjoyed using the app and found it easy to use. We're hoping that this app will be taken up by professional services so it can be used alongside human support uh, for people drinking less alcohol so that we can have a new model of a human smartphone hybrid that together will be more effective than either one on its own.